Workplace safety has become a major concern to managers and employees alike. With incidents like what happened at Columbine High School and Virginia Tech, educational institutions are not immune to these types of incidents. Media attention has resulted in fear and apprehension, yet this is less common than is popularly believed. Prevention is critical. Incidents involving disruptions and threats are increasing, and early intervention helps prevent more serious acts. Workplace violence can be any act of physical violence, threats of physical violence, harassment, intimidation, or other threatening, disruptive behavior that occurs at the worksite. Workplace violence can affect or involve employees, students, visitors, and contractors. A number of different actions in the work environment can trigger or cause workplace violence. It may be the result of non-work-related situations, such as domestic violence or road rage. Workplace violence can be inflicted by an abusive employee, classmates, a manager, supervisor, co-worker, customer, family member, or even a stranger. Whatever the cause or whoever the perpetrator, workplace violence is not to be accepted or tolerated. Violence is a substantial contributor to death and injury on the job. The National Institute of Occupational Safety and Health, or NIOSH data, indicates homicide has become the second leading cause of occupational injury death, exceeded only by motor vehicle related deaths. Approximately one million people are assaulted while at work or on duty each year, representing 15% of all acts of violence experienced by U.S. residents older than 12. Workplace violence is not distributed randomly across all workplaces, but is clustered in particular occupational settings. More than half of workplace homicides occurred in retail trade and service industries. 85% of non-fatal assaults in the workplace occur in the service and retail trade. As the U.S. economy continues to shift toward the service sectors, fatal and non-fatal workplace violence will be an increasingly important occupational safety and health issue. The Workplace Violence Research Institute estimated costs of workplace violence to U.S. businesses at $36 billion per year. These costs include medical and psychiatric care, lost business and productivity, repairs and cleanup, higher insurance rates, increased security costs, and worst of all, the loss of valued employees. In addition, business owners and college administrators are being held liable for not making their locations safe for employees and visitors. Other potential litigation areas include negligent hiring, workers' compensation claims, third-party claims for damages, invasion of privacy actions, and occupational safety and health administration.